Okay, hang on. Hang on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to answer the age-old question. How do I micro vipers? Before I get into how to micro vipers, first I will show you what your setup should more or less look like when you're trying to play a viper-oriented style. So the base setup that I have right now is a main base. Look at these hatches, they're both injected, that's incredible. That's larva income. That means I'm not gonna be floating a ton of money I can consistently produce. I've got upgrades rolling, melee attack two and range attack two. Attack upgrades are good against mech and we are against battle mech here. So cyclones and battle cruisers. And the reason vipers are so excellent against this composition is because the goal of this composition is to go up next to your army, lock on, and deal a bunch of damage to your units and drive away while laughing to themselves. What Zerg can do is create vipers that assist the main army and abduct these units into the army so they can't drive away laughing, they get pulled into the swarm and die. So I have five bases up now. Main base here, Hydra upgrades, both of them going, don't forget those. Natural base is kind of messed up because we got harassed by a battle cruiser. We've got a partial wall here. I meant to wall off all the way. That's a mistake. Third base, it's mining lots of business here. Fifth base is mining lots of business here. Um, and there's a base here. So we have a really nice macro setup. The opponent has a high SCV count. They're establishing their fourth base. But right now I'm mining a lot more efficiently than the opponent since they have 23 out of 16 here and 12 out of six here. They have one one upgrades a bunch of factories, and there have been a few battle cruisers hassling us this game. So for Zerg, you're kind of stuck defending for a while against Cyclone style because they're so good at running away and shooting at the same time. So patience is virtue. Just try to make sure your economy is in good condition. Add some static defense at your bases. To protect your investment and your economy. And then make what's called some motherfucking vipers. I made four as my first round. There is no perfect number that you have to go for every time. Basically what I'm trying to do is spend some gas into vipers. You still want to have a lot of ground army. Vipers don't shoot stuff. They can do AOE to air with parasitic bomb. But in this context of battlecruiser cyclone hellion, you won't use parasitic bomb. So I'm just getting energy on these vipers. I have the Vipers on a separate control group from the army. So I have three groups right now, I'm sorry, four. My Hatches, my Army, my Vipers, and my Queens. My Queens can run around and defend the battlecruisers. Queens are not very good at chasing Hellions. They're not very good at chasing Cyclones, so they shouldn't really be with the main army. They should be doing their own stuff, making sure the bases are injected and safe. That's your defense squad. The Vipers are the really fancy unit that's going to allow you to crush the Terran army and prevent them from escaping whenever they try to damage you. So I'm moving in to defend this. I put my Vipers on a control group and then I use the consume ability and then I hold down shift and I consume, 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 consume on a bunch of different buildings. And it's shift rallied. So as soon as they get one consume cycle of energy, they will go to another building and they'll use consume again until they're full energy. And then what I do is I sh give them another shift rally to the army. So I'll go over that again. You have your vipers, they're on a control group, you can double tap that. And then you hold down the consume key and shift and then you right click one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, something like that. And then go to your army and right click a hydra. And what the vipers are gonna do is they're gonna get energy here. Sometimes I forget to rally it to the hydras. But you just send the vipers to follow one of your hydras. This makes it nice and easy and it also makes it so your units arrive at a similar time. You don't want your vipers to just fly into the enemy army. They're just gonna die and they're not gonna get to use their spells. They're very expensive and you'll be sad. So I send my army out on a quest. We want to go fight the Terran. It's going to be tough, so we're mentally prepared for that. And now I'm going to take my vision here. 
And I want to pay attention to where the Terran army is going. And I'm just straight up after him. The army that we have is good against their army now. We defended with some queens and Ling Vane, which wasn't ideal. But now with Hydra Viper, we actually have a good composition. So all I'm doing here is I used a move with my army. That's it. Just a move. People do all this random crap with Hydras and Roaches in the mid-leagues, and it hurts my Zerg heart because they don't trust their Hydras to be able to rip through stuff. You don't have to, like, scoot and shoot your Roach, Ravager, and Hydras like this. Just get a nice pre-split and just let the units do their job. The Vipers are the units that I'm actually controlling here. So watch this command card here in the bottom center. See what I'm doing. We're going to go back before this fight is set up, and I will show you how to manage your Vipers. I have the Vipers selected. I have the Vipers selected. The Hydras are simply on an A move quest. I still just have the Vipers selected. And I'm just abducting. I'm abducting. The Hydras can take care of themselves. If there's a Cyclone that gets thrown into them, it will instantly die. That's the beauty of having heavily upgraded Hydras. And I'm just abducting. And now you can move out. Basically, you want to trade as soon as your army, or as soon as your Viper energy runs out. Whenever you can't abduct anymore, this really key aspect of your army is effectively useless. They can do nothing. They cannot consume, there are no Zerg buildings nearby, they can't abduct, and they can't use a Blinding Cloud or Parasitic Bomb. So they should go back home. And I've already rallied them on a quest to get some energy from this and get some energy from this. So being able to efficiently recharge your Vipers means you're shift rallying the consumability to multiple structures. If you really want to be fancy, some things that some Zergs do, is they make a whole bunch of Evo chambers in a spot, and that's kind of like your health reservoir where your Vipers can recharge their energy. You can do that if you want to, or you can just use the structures that you have. So I have no Viper energy, so I'm going back home. I'm making Banes, I'm making army. My economy is good. I don't really want to fight uphill. I'm just posturing right now and maintaining map control. Trying to go over here and defend this. Bear in mind, Vipers can interrupt Yamato Cannon. If Yamato Cannon is being channeled, the Viper can abduct the BC and interrupt that spell. It's really awesome. And it also helps you secure the kill on the Battlecruiser. Notice what happened here. I upped my Viper count by a lot. Why did I do that? Because that makes my army a lot more dangerous and I can push for a much longer period of time. But am I going to use all the Vipers at once? No, I will not. That's a little bit overkill. So I'm gonna use the Vipers that have energy with the army. They're on the Viper hotkey. They're doing their thing. They're abducting stuff. I'm letting the Hydras A move. The Hydras just A move and the Veins do too. And these Vipers were on a consume quest, but then they're not hotkey until now. Now that they have full energy, we're gonna have them join. We can all work together. If you're focusing on your army like this, and you have Hydra Viper and you're moving in to deal some damage, should you pull this army back home to deal with this? Fuck no, you should not do that. You should use your reinforcement units to defend these Hellbats. You see all these eggs? These eggs are not helping this push right now. They're much closer to this problem. So watch in the control group setup down here at the bottom. Watch. I'm abducting stuff. Abducting. You can use Blinding Cloud on a planetary. It reduces the target's range to melee. So it could still shoot Lings, but it can't shoot Hydras. I'm abducting Cyclones. Use Blinding Cloud again. Hydras with upgrades have sick DPS. So you can overpower a repair. And then look. I just created in group 4 18 units that are now on defense duty. 
The offense team is doing a good job. But on defense, we have a problem. There are fire cars in our base. So I use the steal command, which is add to group and take away units to take my eggs that used to be in my main army and bind them into a new group. Their job is to defend. And I'm focusing on my vipers. The hydras get to A move. I'm not doing fancy shit with the hydras. I can't emphasize that enough. I've been over so many games where people are just trying to stutter step their hydras. Like that helps them in any way. Just A move. A move and babysit your vipers. I'm moving the Vipers around. The Hydras are just working their way through the Terran base. Since the threat has been eliminated, the Hydras that we're harassing are going to rejoin the army, so they're on their way over here. Just a simple A move command. I'm abducting battle cruisers. This also pulls them away from the pair. Hydra reinforcements are here. And we're just continuing that process. Keep the Vipers safe. Hydras are punching their way in, trying to focus fire some BCs. These BCs have plus three armor, but my Hydras are three, three. So the BC damage against them isn't very good. It's really hard for Terran to deal with this. I'm trying to reestablish my economy. Sometimes things go wrong and you don't hotkey everything correctly. This is my last game of the day, so I'm pretty tired, but I still know the principle of Hydras are the beefy core of your army against battle mech, and they just A move. You create them, you upgrade them, you A move them, and the Vipers are the unit that you focus on controlling. I didn't send them back to my home base because I figured I have so many, they're going to recharge some energy naturally over the course of this push, and I don't want the Terran to get a foothold again because this right here is the throat of the Terran. If you control this space and you get on top of the inner production, you win. This is not. This is a planetary and attacking uphill into this is a poop scoop. Attacking into this directly is not too bad because you're attacking at even ground. If you're coming up this way, you lack information about what's up here and it's really awkward to attack. So my path into the Terran base was sweeping through this location crushing that with Hydra Viper, and then moving up the largest ramp, the most open space, to this location, which is even ground, and then I can attack at even ground all the way through here into the natural. And then once I've controlled this point, you win the game. This is how you beat Terran, by getting to this point right here. It's not always like trying to bust the outer bases with a bunch of tanks all over the place. It's by getting on top of the production. So yeah, that's basically how you use Vipers. If there were tanks, I typically will abduct if it's a single tank. Single tank, single tank, I'll just abduct into the Hydra, same as I would abduct the Cyclones. But if you see a cluster of tanks, two or more, maybe th three is fantastic. If you see four or five and you blinding cloud that, you get to feel like you're GSL code S. But yeah, Hydra Viper would also work against a tank style. Also against Thors too. Usually I advise abducting Thors over blinding them because they can still shoot in melee and the Thor is so big that it's almost one blinding cloud per Thor. Thors are super expensive though, so if you can abduct a Thor into all these Hydras, they just evaporate, which is good. Parasitic Bomb is good on Vikings, Phoenix, Void Rays, Mutas, yeah. It's not very good on capital ships. Battle cruisers, carriers, they have too much HP. It doesn't really do too much to them. But against the lighter, more flimsy air units, Parasitic Bomb is really good. It's also pretty okay against Liberators. Should you go triple upgrades generally versus Battle Mech if you go Hydra Viper? You can if you want to. I did it on this match purely by mistake because I made these Evos to wall off, but I forgot. So I looked at my bases and I didn't see evos, so I made two evos. And then I just figured I have the evo, so I'll use it for an upgrade. But a lot of it comes down to preference. If you go for triple evo as opposed to double evo, that just means that your power spike hits a little bit later because you have gas that's in the future rather than in the present. 
If you went single Evo for just the attack upgrades for range, you hit a really fast power spike for your first max out. You can do a plus two attack Roach Hide or Viper timing, which is really good. But if you go for more upgrades, then you hit the three, three spike really nicely. But before then, it's like you're not hitting the opponent with all your power yet. You're still holding something in reserve. What's the range of Thor versus an Abduct? It's about the same, but they did change the Thor's damage. So they don't one hit your Vipers anymore. It's more like they two shot them. So you will lose some Vipers, but the Viper is less expensive than the Thor. So if you trade a Viper for a Thor, that's still a good trade for you. Do they blow up all your Vipers if you fly two squares too far forward? Mm, they can lock on to them, but if you fly the Vipers immediately back and the Cyclones try to drive into the Hydras, the Hydras will kill them. So it depends on your ability to manage the Vipers and keep your Hydras between their army and your Vipers. Hydras in the middle, Vipers in the back, abduct the Cyclones. Makes sense. How many Vipers is a good number to have? For your first max out, usually two to three. For later max outs, you can up that count. I went as high as 12 this game, which is pretty high. Six would be pretty good. If you want to really rock the Viper phase, you can go rotating groups of three Vipers, where you have the Vipers with energy that are with your army, and then the Vipers recovering energy at home base and you only have the offense ones hotkeyed, the other ones are off hotkey. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And there is your crash course guide in how to use vipers. Hello YouTube, I appreciate you. Come say hey in the stream sometime. And so yet another guide has been made based on a question that I've gotten tired of answering. Praise God. I've spoken.